So how do I know if my podcast will be successful? This is something we all wonder about when we start our podcast. And although it's very hard to predict the future, in this video, I'll show you some of the most important factors that can contribute to having a successful podcast. Hello and welcome to the Pod Sound School. We are podcast and video coaches and producers. In our channel, we post videos about podcast planning, production, and promotion, video podcasting, and social media tips. So I invite you to hit the subscribe button if you're interested. I get it. You want to know if your podcast idea will be successful. You want to know if it's worth your time, energy, and money. But like any other project, there's a risk involved in starting something new. However, in every situation or new project we go into, including launching a podcast, there are things we can do to minimize the risk and increase our chances of success. So here are the things that will help you determine the success of your podcast. But first, let's define what having a successful podcast means. Being successful at something is deeply attached to your goals and expectations. The definition of a successful podcast for me may not be the same for you. For example, for some people, having a successful podcast means having millions of downloads and become the next Joe Rogan. For other people, success is measured by the number of leads and sales their podcast is generating, and they don't care about their podcast becoming mainstream. Other people may think that having a successful podcast is being able to entertain, give back to the community, and help their audiences in some way. Other people may measure success in terms of networking opportunities coming from having guests on their shows. This is why it's important to have those goals and expectations clear from the beginning. So sit down in front of your computer and start typing the goals and expectations you have for your podcast. Okay, so now let's get into the biggest factors that may determine your success in podcasting. And make sure you watch until the end of this video because I'm saving the most important factor for the end. The first factor, or two factors, I compounded them into one, are audience and topic. You want to know if the topic of your podcast is in high demand, meaning your topic will have listeners and ultimately super fans. Even if you're creating your podcast just as a hobby, knowing we have people listening every week is the ultimate goal. Knowing that we're providing value, entertainment, and potentially changing and inspiring people's lives for the better is kind of like what podcasting is all about. You don't want to create a podcast about a topic your audience doesn't care about. The secret to success is to find out what topic or topics people are interested in and also learning about your audience. This is why it's so important to do topic research and create an idea listener profile. This doesn't have to be a complicated task. There are different online tools and public forums you can use to do your topic research. You can start with typing your topic in the search bar on Google and see what auto populates. There are also keyword research services like Oversuggest and Answer the Public that will generate reports of what people are searching for online and they are free. You can also use public forums and Facebook groups to ask questions and interact with people directly. We we'll show you how to find out your ideal listener and take you through the step-by-step -step on how to do topic research and everything you need to know to launch your podcast in seven days in our program, Seven Day Podcast Fast Track. The program is designed to leave the thinking out of the equation and provide you with actionable daily lessons and tasks to get you ready to launch your podcast in seven days. The link for more information is in the description below. The second factor that has a big impact on your podcast success is the quality of your content. The three main areas that determine the quality of your podcast are writing and structuring, audio production, and performance. These are all crazy important for your success, so let's talk about all three. Numero uno, writing and structuring your episodes. Here we want to think about the way we'll be presenting the information to the listener. If your show is in a storytelling format, are you presenting the story in a way to keep your audience at the edge of their seats until the end of the episode? If your show is educational, are you organizing your episodes in a way that is easy to understand, digest, and follow? If your show is interview style, are you bringing guests your audience is interested in to talk about topics they care about? What I recommend is planning and outlining your episodes and information, always having your audience in mind. Even though podcasting is a medium of audio, you will be doing a lot of writing and planning so your episodes are purposeful and always on point. We want to stay away from long-winded episodes without a payoff for your audience at the end. 
Número dos. Are you still with me, Patsky? The audio production of your podcast is also a significant factor in the quality of your content. Podcasting is a medium of audio and therefore audio quality is important. Nobody wants to listen to a podcast that sounds like the host is inside of a pod or a podcast that is mixed too loud or too low. The quality of your recordings will add or take away from your listener's experience. Your episodes can be packed full of great information, but if your listeners drop out after a few minutes because of how horrible your audio is, it defeats the whole purpose, which is to keep your listeners engaged until the end of the episode and keep them coming back for more. So even if you're thinking about outsourcing your podcast editing, it's always a good idea to learn about audio production. Also, there are quick fixes you can do to your recording area or studio that will significantly improve your audio quality. Studio Steve covers those in this video. We also have a playlist with videos about audio production if you want to dive a little deeper into the subject. And finalmente, numero tres, let's talk about performance, baby. And when I say performance, I'm not saying that you have to create a persona or an alter ego and start talking in a radio voice. Hello, and you've arrived at the most intense podcast of all time. Not at all. What I'm talking about is your personality and unique way to connect with your audience. In a recent poll I ran in our Facebook community, Podcasting for Buses, which by the way, if you haven't joined, the link is in the description below, I asked the members what was something that they valued the most in a podcast, and the majority replied the host's personality. This is so true. You may encounter that there are other podcasts covering similar topics as yours, but the difference between their podcast and your podcast is you. It's your personality, your humor, your storytelling skills, the different way you analyze and perceive a topic, your point of view, your voice, your laugh, and all the things that set you apart. So put your personality into your podcast as much as you can. And my lovely Patsky, as I promised, the most important and the last factor that will determine the success of your podcast is exposure. If you're an influencer or have a big social media following and you can leverage it to give your podcast a lot of exposure, you are in a good place. But some of you, ourselves included, don't come into podcasting with a big audience eager to start listening to us in audio form. We have to hustle to give our podcast exposure and bring new listeners. Podcasting is a medium and not a platform like YouTube or social media platforms with built-in algorithms helping small creators to gain more exposure. Podcast players like Apple Podcasts and Spotify are taking steps towards helping independent podcasters to be suggested to other users, but they're not quite there yet. So what do we do to bring more eyes and ears to our podcast? Well, we use social media and other platforms to engage with our listeners and promote our podcast. Podcast promotion is just as important as podcast production or more. Ultimately, it doesn't matter if you create ear candy if nobody knows your podcast even exists. This is why it's important to bake in the time to create promotional assets like audiograms and promo videos to post on social media. And not only that, you should have a social media strategy for your podcast that will help you grow your audience faster. Okay, Patsky, come over here. The last thing I want to tell you, and by the way, thank you for staying with me all the way until the end of this video, is that sometimes the only way to know if we'll be successful at something is to jump head first and start doing it. I can guarantee you, you will not regret starting your podcast. Podcasting will challenge you, take you out of your comfort zone, and will bring wonderful opportunities for growth. And all the way, the Pod Sound School is here for you to support you and help you along your journey. So stay in touch with us, comment here, and I will personally respond. You can also find me on Instagram at Pod Sound School. And before you go, two things. No olviden hacer la tarea and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Happy casting, amigos! Exposure, exposure, exposure. Let's talk about performance, baby. <laughs> Exposure! Exposure! Audio. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I know.